We became friends first. Then we started dating, and then of course, we fell in love. And now, I'm officially getting married. So before we get into this whole marriage talk, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about myself, where I'm from, how this whole process of getting on reality television started, and then we can talk a little bit about the marriage. So I'm from this town called Matthews, North Carolina. It's a little bit outside of Charlotte. Um, it's basically kind of like your typical small town, suburby, southern place. Um, everybody knows everybody, everybody dates everybody, and everybody knows everything about everybody's life. And um, it was probably the best place to ever grow up in. So summertime in Matthews was always my favorite time. I think I have the most memories with the summer. Because one, you were out of school, I hated school. But you were out of school, we were always outside playing soccer, capture the flag, we were playing in the woods, making forts. And I remember I would wake up and everybody, the girls would come to the house, knock on the door, what are you doing? We'd be on bikes all day and my mom wouldn't see us till night. And that was a time before cell phones, before everybody's looking down at their phone all the time. I mean, it was more interacting and just having fun and being with your friends. Believe me, I think about it all the time. I wish I could go back and be a kid for a day because it was that awesome. I remember there were about 20 of us and we all got together and there was this, there were these three brothers. They were a lot older than us, like five years older. And I remember all of us going and ringing and running their house, which they were like the older cool kids and we were terrified. So we sent the smallest kid to go ring and run their house. And I remember the brothers came out and this is like a movie like The Sandlot. I remember just running and all of us kids dispersed. <laughs> Everybody's jumping fences. I'm hiding behind a trash can. And I remember like laughing so hard, I almost peed my pants. And it was just, it, it, that's how my summers were. Just 20 kids getting together, playing ring or run, playing football. We were wrestling each other, which is weird. I remember my mom giving me that talk before sixth grade, telling me, Jordan, you're a lady. You need to start acting like one. You're going into sixth grade. You don't need to act like such a boy. And I was like, okay. People might not know this, but I was a tomboy growing up. I can remember my sister, be, it was her prom. Every single year that my sister went to prom, there's a picture of me in the same baseball shirt the Sophie shorts and my hair slicked back. And my mom would get so mad because she always wanted a good photo of me and my sister together and I always would like look dirty and sweaty and gross. And my mom hates those pictures, but now we laugh about it. Because my mom's like, oh, you just would not do your hair, Jordan. She would always say that to me. And I was always wrestling all the guys in my neighborhood. I remember one time uh, we had a wrestling match in the front yard and everybody was watching. <laughs> and I was I was kind of chunkier when I was younger. <laughs> so this boy was smaller than me. And I mean, really, all I had to do was like sit on him and he, um, you know, <laughs> he was out. He was done. Make your move! She's a girl. Who do I grab her? Ah! So I ended up um, beating him and I remember everybody cheering me on and like getting so excited and I remember my mom coming up to me saying, Jordan, you're about to be in sixth grade. It, it was the summer of my fifth grade year and my mom's like, Jordan, you're, um, you know, you're about to be in sixth grade. You need to start acting like a lady and she was like, I'm going to take you to the mall. We're going to go get you some makeup. I've got an idea. Let's do a makeover. <gasps> and nothing major. She wouldn't let me wear mascara, things like that, but she said eyeshadows. She was slowly, gradually trying to get me, um, you know, to look more, I guess, like a girl instead of acting like a boy all the time. So, um, yeah, I remember, I remember starting sixth grade. I had my hair done. I got this new haircut. I had makeup on, and I just remember feeling like a dork. I was like, oh. I hate this. I need to pull my hair back. And I wear my, I used, that was like when the big flare jeans were in. And I love the flare jeans. And I used to steal my sister's jeans and would go play football 
with all the guys and I would come back and I would get the dirt stain, uh, the grass stains on her jeans and she, oh my god, she would yell at me, we'd get in the biggest fights about that. I was terrible, but I didn't understand it at the time. Um, but yeah, I remember in sixth grade, I started and I like was like, oh, this is not me. But then I met this boy, and he was like the first boy that I ever like really liked. Do you find me attractive? She does. I don't. You do? She does? Yes, she does. Then I started switching, and I was like, ooh, I want to look cute today to school. So then my mom's asking, you want to wear a skirt today? And I'm like, yeah. And then I think that's kind of when I started getting more girly. After graduating high school, like most people do, they go off to college. That wasn't really the route for me. I worked a couple waitressing jobs. I was a dental assistant, and I was content with it. I never thought I was gonna leave Matthews, North Carolina because you know, I'm kind of a small town girl at heart. I love like knowing everybody. I love how everybody knows me. And then I was just content in my little bubble. But I get this job at this bowling alley called Strike City. I was 22 years old. And then my world completely changed. You can say I like bowling. 